to the Pond Video Time, and in this video, we are going to be creating a browser in Python. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be needing is sys. So let's import sys. Okay, now before I get into the code fully, let me tell you what the browser will be. So it will just be a normal browser like Google Chrome that you can, you know, uh, have your Gmail account, have your, uh, uh, you can go into YouTube and do normal stuff like you do in Google. So let's just get started. So as always, we need to import sys as I have already did. Then after that, from PyQt5 dot qt core i want to import systematically everything then after that from pi qt 5 dot qt widgets 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 so from pyqt 5widget import everything and then the last thing that we will need to import would be from yeah i have done a mistake here. it should be small case there we go so from pyqt 5qt web engine widget again import everything so now we have imported every single library we need let's get into making it so first i'll have a class called our main window so class main window and i'm and it's going to be q main window Obviously, we're only gonna have to have the define in it. I'm gonna put self in the middle, and then we're gonna super. We're gonna have main window self, and then after that, dot in it. So that's what we're gonna be needing. We're gonna have super over here. Then after that, I'm gonna do self dot browser is equal to Q web engine view. So web engine oops Q it should be Q web engine view. There we go. So self the browser will be Q web engine view. And there we go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is self. So it's gonna be our self dot browser dot set URL. That, mean, that means when we open the browser, what URL we want to see. I'm going to be showing URL, Q URL, this, then let's go on with HTTPS, Google.com. There we go. So we're going to have it like that. And then self.set, is it set? Yeah. Set central widget and then you're gonna have self dot browser self dot browser there we go now the last thing we want to add is self dot show maximized self dot show maximized and there we go
Now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna get out of the class function. I'm gonna put app is equal to Q application sys dot org. Yeah, sys dot org. And then after that, I'm gonna have Q application again dot set application name the punch the punch browser the punch browser, browser. there it <coughs> window is equal is equal to main window so our window would be equal to the main window and after that app dot execute there now if we run it we should have it ready so let's just put this up over here Okay, and now let's run it. And you can see that we have our browser ready. Let's, so we don't have everything about going back and everything yet, but at least this works. So if we look at Kylian Mbappe, and there we go so it is working okay good 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 and good okay so let's just cut this and now we want to add all the back system and everything there so it's not gonna be much now so the first thing I'm going oh my god okay yeah there we go so what I'm gonna do is after show maximized, I'm gonna get in our nav bar. Nav bar, nav bar, our navigation bar. So nav bar is equal to Q tool bar. And then, oops, self dot add toolbar nav bar simple it's really simple now we're gonna have our back button so back underscore button is equal to q action q action and the q action is back and then after that, self. Now I'm gonna have the back button again, dot trigger. So if the back button is triggered, then I will just dot connect. So back button dot triggered dot connect. dot browser dot back and after that what I'm gonna do is I am going to do nav bar dot add action so nav bar dot add action and the add action would be our back button oops i did a mistake there it would be our back button okay so after we have our back button settled let's get into our forward button so forward button is equal to let's just uh, 
it's gonna be technically the same to the back button so just copy it paste it here and let's just forward button forward button q dot action q action forward forward button to trigger self dot browser dot forward and then we are gonna add action forward button oops and there we go now we have our forward button ready let's now start with our reload button so reload underscore button is equal to q oops is equal to q action action q action reload so we are just gonna put in here reload and then self okay so now after that what we're gonna be doing is i'm just gonna be copying all of this because it's 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 just the same thing so because after this we're gonna have the home button you are all url bar the so and then you're gonna go to our navigation and stuff okay so so what you're gonna be doing is that you're gonna be doing the actions and stuff okay so reload button uh this is also a reload button self dot browser dot reload and then add action reload button so now we got three of the main buttons okay what is the next main button the next main button we have is the home button so we are just going to be um control c just over here control v and i'm gonna name it home now so home 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 then over here this would be home and home okay so now we have the home button done yep wait wait, wait. okay okay this one is in self dot browser dot tone it's self dot navigate home there we go so dot connect then it would be self dot navigate home so home button dot trigger dot connect and navbar dot add action home button home q action yep everything is correct okay now we are going to be adding the url bar so self dot url bar is equal to q line edit 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 there we go q line edit then after that we're just going to do it like this self dot url underscore bar dot return pressed dot connect self dot navigate to url there we go then i'm gonna do nav bar uh, so nav bar dot add widget widget self dot url bar <clears throat> okay so we have this now 
Now the last thing we're gonna be doing is the self dot actually it's not, actually it's nothing self dot browser dot url changed dot connect self dot update url url yeah there we go okay now we don't have much to do left so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding some definitions so define navigate home to self now you see you see um these uh, okay how many these three over here so we need to make the function for that because the back forward and reload functions are already in built in pyqt5 so what do we, so what we have to do is um these these three aren't so we have to make the functions for those now okay so first we're going to start with navigate home so self dot browse brow browser dot set url q url sorry url q url and then i'm just gonna be putting in the normal https mm, 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 google.com yeah there we go so we have navigate home finished now we are going to do define navigate to url so this is also going to be just self in it and now what i'm going to do is url is equal to self dot url bar dot text and then after that um it's gonna be self dot browser dot set url q url to url Oof. okay that looks nice okay yeah <coughs> And now we have the last one, which is update URL. So define update URL self and Q. Oops. Okay. So what we need is self dot URL bar dot set. And to be q dot two string strong why why did it put strong string and yeah that's that's it let's just uh, put this over here navigate okay what what is wrong So we have self okay they are the name same yes okay let's first check this and see if it is working or not i don't think it will be working yeah it's it's in back In, in back okay I understand what the error is okay, I need to take these out there's only one so there we go yeah now 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 is there any oh my god I forgot to fix it again the define should be in this line see I, I put it too early yeah i have to 
put it here. Okay. Now if you try it out, it should be working. Correct? And yes, you can see that we have our window. I can type in YouTube and YouTube then I can go here and here now if I press back it will go back forward to go forward I can reload I can and I can, if I go to home you can see that it is redirecting me to google.com so I hope you like this video please like and subscribe until next time the punch video time is out bye bye